Hello, welcome back to the Golden Seal Enterprises channel. Today's training tip, we're going to discuss a few different ideas and options and concerns dealing with people who are just starting to look at purchasing an AR design carbine. The first thing we're going to discuss is the ammunition. Ideally, you want to buy an AR platform such as these in a 5.56 or a 223 Remington cartridge, preferably the 5.56. The good thing about the 5.56 caliber projectile is that it's just large enough that it allows you to shoot the 223 Remington. If you buy a rifle specifically chambered in 223 Remington, that means you cannot fire the 5.56. The next thing we want, we're going to talk about is barrel length. The M16 rifle traditionally is a 20 inch rifle. Most rifles that you'll see on the market nowadays, especially for civilians, are about a 16 inch barrel. That's a good happy medium. It gives you a good mechanical length of a longer barrel for good accuracy, but it's short enough that you're not carrying all that extra weight. The next thing we want to talk about is the gas system. You have two different types of systems. You have a gas impingement system, and then you have a piston driven system. The piston driven system is really nice if you can afford it. Most of the AR carbine rifles you'll find on the market are a gas impingement system. That's as the projectile moves down the length of the barrel, the pressure that pushes it actually gets bled back into the gun, causing it to operate. When you're considering the different gas impingement systems, we recommend either a mid-length or a rifle length gas system. A carbine length or a very, very short gas system has a tendency to overpressure into the chamber of the rifle, causing parts to wear down a lot faster. It also produces a little bit more recoil for the individual shooter. A mid-length or a rifle length gas system actually gives better pressure, not a higher pressure, but a better pressure for the rifle and reduces a little bit of the recoil for the individual shooter. Moving back along the rifle, we highly recommend a rifle that either has iron sights built into it or has the ability to add iron sights later on. In this particular example here, we have an iron sight rear sight and an iron sight front sight. That means these are mechanically added to the gun. They won't come off. In this example, we have a built-in front sight, but we also have a pop-up or backup rear sight. This allows you to add in any kind of optics that you might want to choose later on. You have optics and then you have scopes. An optic primarily means some sort of a reflex or a red dot system. Then you have scopes. Scopes traditionally have some sort of magnification on it. In this final example, we have a pop-up, backup, front sight and rear sight bolted onto the gun. This way, in this example, it has an optic. If the optic goes down, battery runs out, the optic falls off, anything goes wrong, you always have a set of iron sights that you can, that you can keep shooting with. Moving back along the, the carbine or the rifle, the next thing we, d we recommend having is a collapsible buttstock. In this example, this buttstock allows you to move in actually six different positions as it's fully extended. So if you're a person with a very short stature and short arms, you can compress it all the way down and still be able to get behind the rifle. If you're a larger person, you can extend the, the buttstock all the way and feel much more comfortable getting down behind the rifle. One of the last things we want to talk about is accessories. As you can tell, these rifles have quite a few different accessories, pop-up sights, adjustable buttstocks, and rails. If you ever decide or ever think that you may want to add those type of accessories, you need to kind of plan it ahead of time. Taking a traditional handguard, this plastic piece here, off a rifle and trying to build in some sort of rail system can get pretty expensive. So there's two ways you can do it. One is to buy a rifle that already has a rail system built into it or buy an aftermarket handguard that you can replace the black plastic portion here for this tan plastic portion. So we've covered a few different major concerns and ideas regarding the initial purchase of an AR design carbine. If you're interested in any further training or have any questions, feel free to contact us at goldenseelenterprises.com.